Kosovo 2.0 is an independent new media platform that is created uh, that was created by uh, young people and in fact is trying to uh, give voice to young people in Kosovo. Uh, the whole idea behind the project uh, came in 2010 because it was two years after Kosovo had uh, declared independence and while there were a lot of expectations in uh, a lot of expectations that daily life in Kosovo was going to improve. We, uh, there was definitely a, a lack of the voice of young people in those uh, in those discussions. I have a background in journalism myself, and uh, when I returned back to Kosovo, I, at the same time, I also noticed that there was a huge uh, gap in the media landscape in Kosovo, in the sense that there were there was no coverage on the issues of the problems problems that young people were uh, facing. But now, two years after the launch, uh, we've had more. We have more than 200 bloggers, around uh, 100 magazine contributors. Uh, we've had 50 interns go through our internship uh, programs. We've had more than uh, 100 volunteers in our different uh, activities, and we have around 7,000 uh, 7, followers on Facebook. And we, the, the number of uh, readership on the website is continually on the rise. We had 7,000 unique visitors to date. So I think those those numbers have just. Uh, show that the, the project has really had an impact that people are responding uh, people are responding to it and I see it uh, Kosovo 2.0 is becoming a hub for active interested uh, passionate young people everywhere I, I want it to become the place where they all these voices and opinions and creative ideas and uh, and ideas of protest as well come together and uh, not only challenge each other but also complement uh, complement each other essentially I think what we're doing is we're bringing all the different people with the very different backgrounds and ideas and work involvement and we're bringing them in one place.